after we discuss the GCF or the greatest common factor, today we will discuss about the LCM or the least common multiple. Finding the GCF, we will discuss how to find the least common multiples or LCM of numbers using continuous division. Let's have an example. Given the number 12 and 24, so we will find a number that we can divide both 12 and 24. So since 12 and 24 is an even number, we can divide it both by, 12, by 2. So 2 12 divided by 2 is 6. 24 divided by 2 is 12. So, 6 and 12 is both divisible by 3. So, 3, 6 divided by 3 is 2. 12 divided by 3 is 4. 2 and 4. We will think of a number that we can both divide by 2 and 4. So, yes. It is divisible by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 1 and 2 is both prime numbers. So we can stop this. Given the numbers at the left, isama natin yung pinakababa, we will multiply it to find the LCM. So yan, naging L na, kaya LCM. Pag GCF, itong gilid lang. So, the LCM is 2 times 3 times 2 times 1 times 2. 2 times 3, 6. Times 2, 12. Times 1, 12. Times 2 equals 24. So, the LCM of 12 and 24 is 24. Next example. 84 and 126. So again, think of a number that we can divide 84 and 86. So 84 and 86 is both even number. So we can divide it by 2. 84 divided by 2 is 42. 63 div 126 divided by 2 is 63. 42 and 63, we can divide it by 2. But we can make we can divide it by 7. 42 and 63 is divisible by 7. 42 divided by 7 is 6. 63 divided by 7 is 9. So given the number 6 and 9, 6 and 9 is divisible both by 3. So 6 divided by 3 is 2. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 2 and 3, meron pa ba tayong pwedeng i-divide? Wala na. So, stop na tayo. We will find the LCM. Again, kunin natin yung letter L na numbers. So, the LCM is 2 times 7 times 3 times 2 times 3. Equals. 252. So, magtatanong kayo, bakit prime number lagi ang gagamitin natin? Laging 2 ang gagamitin natin sa simula or 3 kasi para mas mabadali ang pagbababa or pagpapaliit ng numbers. Next, 9, 15, and 18. Now, we will have 3. 3 given numbers. 9, 15, and 18 is what divisible by 3. So, 9 divided by 3 is 3. 15 divided by 3, 5. 18 divided by 3, 6. 3, 5, and 6. Meron bang number na pwedeng i-divide sa 3, 5, and 6 sa pare-pareho? Unlike GCF, kapag may dalawang number na pwedeng i-divide, pwede natin yung gawin. 
So both 3 and 6 is divisible by 3. So what happened to 5? So mangyayari kay 5, we just bring down. So 3 divided by 3, 1. Bring down 5 or just copy. 6 divided by 3, 2. 1, 5, and 2. Wala na tayong pwedeng i-divide since they are prime numbers. So, stop na tayo dito. So, the LCM is 3 times 3 times 1 times 5 times 2. 3 times 3, 9 times 1, 9 times 5, 45 times 2 equals 90. So, the LCM is 90. Another example is 10, 20, and 30. So, 10, 20, and 30 is both divisible by 2. So, let us divide. 10 divided by 2, 5. 20 divided by 2, 10. 30 divided by 2, 15. So, 5, 10, 15 is divisible by 5. So, let us divide. 5 divided by 5, 1. 10 divided by 5, 2. 15 divided by 5, 3. So, 1, 2, and 3. Wala na tayong pwedeng divide. So, mag-stop na tayo. We will find the LCM. So, the LCM is 2 times 5 times 1 times 2 times 3. 2 times 5, 10. Times 1, 10. Times 2, 20. Times 3, 60. So, the LCM is 60. So, what is the importance of finding or getting the LCM? So, LCM ang ginagamit natin to find sa kapag pumunta na tayo sa dissimilar numbers in fractions. So, ginagamit natin to, ginagawa natin, nagiging LCD or least common denominator. So, what are the steps again in getting the LCM using continuous division? First, LCM means least common multiple. We can get the LCM using the continuous division. To find the LCM using continuous division, number one, write the numbers horizontally and find the prime number that will divide all the numbers if possible. Kailangan lang alam natin ang mga numbers or the prime numbers. So, mag-start lagi tayo sa 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and so on. Number 2, divide the numbers by the prime numbers and write the quotient below the dividends na ginagawa naman natin kanina. Number 3, continue the process until no two numbers have no prime divisor. Kapag wala na, the LCM is the product of all the prime numbered, prime divisor, and the last set of quotients. So, i-multiply lahat natin ang nasa labas, so yung letter L na tinuro ko. Sana muli ay kayo may natutunan ngayong araw na to. Huwag nilang kalilimutang mag-like. Subscribe to our YouTube channel.